Welcome to Future Hamburg Talks. Today, we're going to deep dive into a topic that is super interesting and there's a lot of discussion and there's a lot of happening. It's autonomous driving. Well, actually, it's autonomous ride pooling and our guest today is an expert. Welcome, Sascha Meyer, the CEO of Hamburg-based Moja. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here, Doro. Thank you. Well, in preparation for our today's talk, uh, I found a quote from you that got me really thinking. And it is, being driven is believing. Once you have the chance to experience autonomous driving in a complex environment like Hamburg, you become an advocate. Maybe before we dive really into the autonomous driving, for those who are not familiar with Moya, who's behind Moya and what are the services you offer, would be fantastic if you give us a brief introduction. Yes, absolutely. So Moya was founded in 2016 and we are a subsidiary of the Volkswagen Group. And we have a very simple mission and our mission is to connect people, places and communities. And what we actually do is we develop mobility solutions for the on-demand space, so moving people in public transport in a more comfortable, flexible and also commercially sustainable manner. And we do this for the age of autonomous vehicles because we strongly believe that the autonomous vehicles will unlock a huge potential for public transport to become more sustainable and also to become affordable for a lot of people so we can provide mobility for the common good in the future. Okay, so you already gave the introduction to autonomous ride pooling and driving. So maybe you can give us like a wrap up. Where is Moya at the moment? And also, why is it so important for you? Is it just like the public transport or are there other reasons? Yeah, um, maybe I start in the past. So we launched our service in Hanover in 2017 and then in Hamburg in 2019 with human drivers. So we created what we call a ride pooling service. So we pick up people, take them from A to B, but we combine them. We in a one vehicle. So we offer shared mobility per se. And we do this with the intention to build up not only a business model, but also the technology that is needed to provide this to other players in the public transport market. And Hamburg is more or less our flagship operation. So we operate up to 320 vehicles here in the city. We have welcomed more than 11 million passengers on our vehicle since 2019. So we really see that there's a huge need in the market and people just love our product and they want to use it. And that's a positive sign. And with this sign, we talk to public transport operators, public transport authority cities, so to say, and offer them our solution so they can take our blueprint, our technology, and start those on-demand services. And here comes again the, the autonomous vehicles into play. Because to make this sustainable and scalable, so with uh, the demographic change, driver scarcity is a thing all over Europe and all over the world, and it's becoming more challenging in the future, the autonomous vehicles will offer a solution to be scalable and be accessible um, for, for cities. And, and that's the combination that we do, develop the software, develop the business model, and at the same time, create the autonomous vehicles together with Volkswagen that are needed to really propel this chance to transform mobility. But are there already projects or are there already autonomous um, riding uh, vehicles in Hamburg or in other cities? Because I was wondering how far are you? So maybe you can give us uh, some more insights. Yes, there are autonomous vehicles in Hamburg. Maybe a few people have noticed, but we are now operating since more than one year. We've driven 300,000 kilometers with our autonomous fleet here in the city. Um, and we are operating in the dense urban city center. So um, in Wandsbeck and Winterhude, where it's really challenging. So we have a lot of pedestrians, cyclists, complex traffic situations. So all you can wish for to, to really test what, uh, what self-driving cars are capable and actually develop the system that we need. And we do this in collaboration with, with the Volkswagen Group, so Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles, and we use the ID bus. And we are not only using it, we are completely remodeling it to be a vehicle for the future. So it has redundancy, it's super safe. And now we combine all the technology that we have built with the self-driving car and turn this into a model for the future. 
Yeah, I think I saw one once here in Hamburg mm -hmm. and it looked right, as you just said, right straight from the future. And I was wondering if you have a closer look at autonomous driving, there's like, of course, the technical side mm -hmm. and there's the social acceptance. Yes. And um, what feedback do you get like from uh, people who encounter this concept of autonomous ride pooling as well as when they see those vehicles? Yeah, f f first of all, people are quite positive. So we asked our users um, of Moya, would they want to use such a car? And 75% of the people we asked said, oh, it's super positive that self-driving is coming and it's coming to Hamburg. And 50% of our users even said, I will hop immediately on a self-driving car and just want to use it. So like from the initial perception, we think with what we have built in the past and that people know the Moya brand and the service that we are offering, they're really curious to see how self-driving vehicle will help the service to evolve, become more available, more reliable as it is even today um, and create a new service quality. And so people are really curious. And what we see is once we get people into the cars that we operate today still with a safety driver, but still they see that the um, steering wheel is moving on its own and the car is capable to maneuver in those complex situations. We realize that after 10, 15 minutes of excitement, people grab into their pockets, take out the phone and start to to serve, browse uh, and, and, and even do their mails. And so this is a really good sign for us because the adoption rate where I think a lot of people are curious how long does it take to get to acceptance is rather short once you have the experience. As you just mentioned, there are safety drivers. So when will we see like 100% autonomous vehicles? So with no driver, maybe not even a steering wheel. In 2021, um, Germany has created the legal framework for autonomous driving. And um, with that, um, we have clear indication what is necessary to become driverless. And we are developing the service uh, in such a way and also the autonomous vehicle in such a way that uh, we will achieve this by 2026 according to our current plans. I was wondering, as probably, as you said, a lot of people love driving the Moya. I'm one of them, to be honest. But what are use cases you have to keep in mind when you develop like an autonomous uh, driving vehicle? Yeah, first of all, there is, we have to realize that there is not just one kind of customer. So customer needs are super diverse. So when I go to the airport, I'm another Sasha than going to a restaurant or going to the theater or when I'm traveling with my kids. So with that in mind, we need to consider that uh, we cater to all those different needs and also to the needs of people with special needs. If you have um, any sorts of impairment or need special support, then this needs to be considered to be a service that is really accessible. And for this, we develop systems that replace the driver not only in its driver function, but also as a touch point to the customers. And therefore, we use technology, but also a human factor. And that's very important. If you sit in a machine that is driving on its own, that you always want to have access to a human, to call him, to ask for support, to um, ask for, for any special need that you might have during the ride. And that's what we take into account when we develop our system. So you push a button and there's a human to help you and it has access to the vehicle, can give commands to it and support you in whatever your need is. Mm. So how many shuttles uh, are going to be in Hamburg? Right now we are operating 320 vehicle and we know this is not sufficient for the need that we see. So in the morning times, in the evening times, a lot of days in the week, we have insufficient supply for the demand of our customers. And that's, for us, it's a sad situation because we disappoint people. They want to use it, they can't use it, and then it's it's just not as reliable as you would need it to become a mix, part of your mix in mobility. And this we expect that 
to be a service that is available within five minutes everywhere in the city. And that's the promise that Hamburg has given to its citizen to establish this. We call it Hamburg Beat. Five minutes everywhere you are and you have access to shared mobility. We need autonomous vehicles and we think it's in a scale between five to 10,000 shuttles to really serve the whole population of Hamburg. Wow, okay. Actually, I'm really on fire. And after your quote, like being driven is believing, I really want to book a Moria that is autonomous mm -hmm. driving. So how do I do that? It's, it's very simple. It's as it is today. So you launch your app and you just order right from, from A to B. And then we give you various offers. And in the future, there's the selection to just book an autonomous vehicle. We'll tell you that it is an autonomous vehicle, so you know what is coming. But you also have the option to book a ride with a human driver. For those who, who might still not be convinced that the future of mobility is coming. So then the vehicle approaches and we use technology to identify you. So you're phone sends out a signal to the car that is received there and uh, we will open up the door so it's just happening um, and you can enter the vehicle and then we start checks in the vehicle because we need to take care that you are properly seated you buckled up that your luggage is stored that nothing is left behind and therefore um, we always use a human to check the cabin before we start the ride and once we confirm this ride it just starts we take you there with the autonomous vehicle your d-board we once again check the cabin that everything is safe and you have not forgotten your phone or anything else and the car drives away and that's the right experience Well, actually, that sounds super easy and a smooth process. If I do want to book a MOGA, that is even an autonomous uh, driving vehicle. The project here in Hamburg with autonomous driving MOGAs is called Alike. And I think you need strong partners to realize a project like that and also partners that helps you financing. Yeah, so in the Alike project where we combine different partners and also different vehicle manufacturers and different technology in one system for the passengers in the city, um, we collaborate with public transport. So it's Hamburger Hochbahn operating larger vehicles um, with uh, around 10 seats uh, from a company called Holon. So Holon is a new startup creating an autonomous vehicle specifically for this case. Um, then it's us Moya offering the Uh, technology to integrate all the different vehicles and it's um, our alliance partner like we call it from within the Volkswagen group so it's ADMT a subsidiary of Volkswagen commercial vehicles and they create the self-driving vehicle that we use the ID bus and we operate it and furthermore we know that we need support from the authorities and so we are glad that, that uh, the Hamburg um, authority of Transport is also on board um, to not only support, but uh, more or less being also the sponsor um, of our endeavor in the city. And as you mentioned before, it's also about acceptance and we want to know from a scientific standpoint, how do people react? And uh, so the Karlsruhe Institute for Technology takes care of this part. So they do the scientific research on customer behavior. And uh, this is the, the strong um, consortia that we have created um, to make this happen in the city of Hamburg and really create results within the next years. And you ask about the funding. The funding is partially provided um, by the Federal Ministry of Digital and Transport here in Germany. Um, so we're glad um, the whole consortia received the funding of 26 million euros uh, for the upcoming years um, to really support um, making autonomous mobility and public transport a reality here. Yeah, if we do have a closer look at public transport, it's such a key role concerning the mobility transition. And what is the potential for Moya, and especially with the um, autonomous driving vehicles? And how, what a key role does Moya have concerning the public transport? Mm -hmm. First of all, I, the the market is just incredibly huge. Um, so we see in all cities that we talk to that there is a need for more flexible solution using the infrastructure that is already there. 
So if there's one thing around the world that every city has, it's streets. And we need to make sure that we use these streets better than we do it today. And that's exactly what we are offering with the self-driving cars and our solutions. And what we offer is, is actually the technology. So we offer the fleet management solution. We offer um, everything that is needed to get customers on board. And we provide that to the cities and the public transport operators in the city so they can create their own ecosystem. So for us, collaboration in the public transport and mobility space is key. We don't need competition. We need better collaboration. And that's the path that we are going. So we are offer our solutions to the local players. They decide how it's used, how it's applied, at which price, where, and they operate the vehicles um, and the software tools that we provide to them. Okay. It's very complex and very interesting. Thank you. So um, at every end of future Hamburg Talks, we ask our guests to complete the following sentence. To me, Hamburg is a city that has a strong urge to move forward, to become a better version than it is today. And it is really an environment where people collaborate across borders to create the future. Fantastic. Sasha, thank you so much for making Hamburg even cooler and being one of the most interesting, disruptive, innovative mobility companies, I would even say worldwide. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. If you liked our future Hamburg talk today, I would highly appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and of course subscribe to our channel.